Hi, my name is Jovi, and welcome back to Kids Corner. Um, so today, I have my grandpa over here, and he wants to tell you some things. And as you can see, we have a little motorized bicycle. And yes. he's gonna talk to you. Yes. And wait a minute, do you need to give him a warning? And trigger warning. Um, there might be some very gross pictures. Graphic, right? Yeah. Right. I'm going to turn the camera over to Gijo real quick. All right, Gijo. All right. Well, last week I had my knee replaced because mm -hmm. over the years my knee got worn out and it was hurting. So I have a new knee now and part of the rehab is strengthening the muscles and doing uh, bicycle stuff and stretching out the muscles so they get back to normal and uh, so that's what i'm doing now i'm doing and i see you have a helper over there that's right i have my harlan helper harlan you want to wave yeah wave what? to the say hi hi harlan keeps me on track he pushes the next button when i'm supposed to do the next thing so he's he's keeping me on track yep i'm keeping Gijo on track so Gijo, just so we got it straight you did a lot of work on that knee over the years and it got wore out it got worn out and, and it the, wasn't working right so they they put an artificial knee in they had to do surgery and replace it and um and now i'm just strengthening getting it back into shape all right and play on me so jovi tell us what we, you were talking about about what that reminds you of it reminds me of, so when, before we started Please, this video, me. I was telling Grancy, who's recording, Gijo, and I told him that sometimes whenever I look at him on the bicycle and sometimes when I look at him doing his exercises and it just reminds me of gaining your strength because he's gaining his strength for his knee, but sometimes in gospel you're you're gaining strength for your faith and your heart and there's multiple things that you're gaining strength for so faith and your heart um hope and trust and there's just like a bunch of things to gain strength for so this is different ways. I'm gonna talk about different ways that you can gain that strength. Okay. So for for all of these, you can improve your trust by believing don't don't believe in kids that are acting suspicious and they tell you something. But I would recommend trusting your parents and your family because they're the ones that love you most and and what if you're confused about who to believe what do you, you do? can go to god and you can tell him i need you to improve my trust so i can trust people better and for hope faith and stuff like that you can pray you can kind of get a little less fear in yourself for your hope. Yeah, get less fear for hope because sometimes whenever you hope, you're like, oh, I hope this doesn't happen. But sometimes you can be like, oh, I hope this happens. But sometimes it can be like, oh, oh I hope this happens. I hope this doesn't So happen. sometimes God has to do a little surgery on our heart, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah, and I don't think the scar looks like that yeah. when he does it. But you know what? Sometimes it might feel like that, mm -hmm. even though it doesn't look like that. I'm looking over here. I see you found a little verse in the Bible yeah, to help I did, us. You want to read that for us? Yeah. Okay. So this is Isaiah. Bring your Bible and... over because all I see is your back. Okay. So this is Isaiah 41. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. 
I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Very so nice. So that's really pretty because it's not talking about like gaining your knee strength or gaining your leg strength or stuff, stuff like that, but gaining your strength in your heart. And it's talking about God can help you with your, with gaining your strength with your knees, your legs, your chest, your arms, but he is most good at improving your strength in your heart. Okay. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to ask Jijo to have our closing prayer today. Okay. Okay. Jijo, can you have our closing your prayer? Your yeah. Hold on Great. just a second. Okay. Your the machine is talking to him right now. Congratulations. You have reached maximum pedal. Okay. Thank you. Let's continue your session. Thank you, Lord, for all the surgery you do in our lives. Thank you for taking out the bad and filling us with the good. I um, ask that you continue to help me with my physical healing on my leg. And may I be soon outside running around the backyard with Joby and Harvin and having a good time. Amen. Amen. All right. Joby, bye. tell him bye. Harlan, tell him bye. Bye.